Brilliant. <laughs> and it's my briefcase. Okay. okay. Ready? Right. Yep. Okay. okay. And take eight. Yes, mate. That's right. It's a double pepperoni, the large 18-inch one. Yeah. Yeah, as quick as you can. I ordered it about an hour ago. I'm doing the act now. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, sorry about this. I've been in such a rush today. I've been all over the place. Um, nice to meet you guys. Uh, right, let me see. Magic circle close-up. I don't need that. Uh, that might come in handy. Uh, just bear with me a second. I'll just get these props sorted and then I oh, might use those at some point. And uh, no idea what that is. These might be useful. Uh, right, let's get some music sorted out here and then we can... Uh, oh, okay. yeah! Oh. If I plug this in. Now, I've got a great trick to show you guys. I've uh, just literally ordered this today. This, the instructions have arrived and I'll just find this for you. Let's pop that over there for a second. And, uh, oh, what have I done with the remote control? Let me have a look. Um, excuse me, bear with me a sec. I'll just sort out remote control. One, two, three, and four. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Right, <laughs> let's have a look. I don't believe this, this is the wrong track. I'm really sorry about this. Hang on a sec, let me find the right one. That's not it either. What, what is going on here? Just a second, let me just find the right track. Oh, come on! Come on! This is, I'm really sorry. Guys, this is great, honestly. You'll, it, there's instructions for the trick, it's brilliant. Just, I'm not doing the dove act today. Oh, come on! Sort it out, just... Oh, oh, please, work! Oh, this is it. Okay, brilliant. Here we go. Watch this, guys. The mystery of the vanishing bandana. This trick literally arrived in the post today. And here's the instructions. We hope you enjoy your magic trick. Oh, we will. This lesson is called the mystery of the vanishing bandana. For this trick, you will need to get two props. Two props. One is a square of darkly colored fabric. Darkly colored fabric. And the other is a yellow bandana. A yellow band. A yellow band. I don't believe this. I'm so. What is going? Excuse me a second. Hello, Dave. Yeah, Dave. The banana's gone. No, it's a banana, Dave. The the thing says bandana. I bring out a banana. Everyone laughs. That's the act, mate. What do you mean you thought you were helping? You swapped it for... Yeah, thanks a lot, Dave. That's not really part of the trick. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do now, mate, am I? I'm going to have to go straight into my Phoenix Ace production. Well, I know, but it's supposed to be done to a beautiful bit of music, Dave. It doesn't quite look the same when I'm stood here chatting to you on the phone about a banana, does it? Even though, well, I know it's one of the most difficult card moves to do, mate, but it's not quite having the same effect. Well, Dave, what do you mean use a different piece of fruit? I don't have a... Use an apple. Dave, I haven't got an apple, mate. Dave, I don't have an apple. And mate, even if I did have an apple, I don't know how to make an apple vanish. All right. Okay, Dave. Dave, hello? Hello, Dave? Ooh. Oh yeah, thanks a lot. Humor me, why don't you? Look at this mess, look at me. I mean, I'm a disaster here. I mean, for God's sake, you know, I, don't you think, you know, I want to come on and, I know what you're looking for. I know you want someone in a nice slick sloop, nice dinner jacket, doing the slick patter and the slick lines and the, all the gorgeous car stuff and the clever moves and all that kind of thing. Well, it's not me. I mean, look at me. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. I mean, don't you think I've been on my knees, magic for 20 years, on my knees, ladies and gentlemen, every night begging, pleading, just let me do one beautiful, nice, slick car routine. I mean, don't you think I've dreamed, ladies and gentlemen? Don't you think I've dreamed? gentlemen join me now as we drift gently backwards into a sort of magical time machine if you will to the elegant salons of 19th century Paris where this most beautiful deception was first performed by the legendary Robert Houdin known to his nephews as Bob your uncle there amongst the privileged power of pompadours of the Parisian bourgeoisie the magician would gently mix the cards into a tapestry of fluttering pasteboards with the addition of cuts both as gentle and savage as that of much more guillotine himself he then invites three ladies and gentlemen of the day to each select a card from the pack, allowing the muse of chance and destiny, Lotera, full reign to play her capricious games and sly conceits, such as none to know the selections made. At this moment, the Lord of Leisure Domain, the Master of Mystery, will produce three stylish writing implements, slender barrels of hewn and burnished hardwood, polished with care till they, till they should gleam like a mother's joy, supporting handcrafted steel nips of fierce precision and delicacy, or at other times they use a sharpie, and he would ask his patrons to each write their name on the face of the pasteboard, 
welding in each case his or her very signature to the card, an irrevocable act of commitment and authorization. For, as was so expressed by the bard himself, we may not etch a soul in place, but by its name is known as Trace, or perhaps that's the lyrics from a Nirvana CD. At this moment, the cards would be returned to the warmth of the deck, in a manner providing both hostage to fortune and music to the eyes, as the inexorable quick step of random acts builds towards their exciting, yet unusual conclusion. At this point, the artisan of magic would remind his patrons of his four soldiers standing proud here in readiness to do their duty. These stalwart servants, as noble in their way as swans, glimpsed across the calm day Asian seas of dust, would now be ushered into the deck in serial file, like ghosts melting into the mist. The first soldiery, swanny, ghosty, acey, the whatever, the first card referred to using some consistent metaphorical scheme that gives the pattern a classy edge, approaches the deck and is gone, gone, gone. The second soldiery, swanny, ghosty, hasty thing approaches the deck and disappears into the abyss, as does the scent infuse the rose. The third, to be fair, I think I'll just call them aces from now on, the third ace approaches the deck and disappears, as the great Voltaire might have said, as gone as the virginity and innocence of a crack hole from Brixton. And the fourth ace, yes, the fourth, oh, the fourth ace was first allowed to contact the ground, to connect with the essential life force of all living things, and to channel the ancient circle of life, decay, and renewal into the trick. So, having done all that, the fourth ace was also allowed to assume ethereal form, and was seen no more. And then as the good gentlefolk of the salon crane their necks forward to see what was happening, the magician would make a pass over the deck, summon the aces, and bid them perform their duty, and show that they, and they alone, were oh, now awake. Yeah. Well, face up, same thing, same thing. And in a manner providing no sleight of hand, no unfair moves, no trickery, the magician would show that the aces had in fact performed their duty, one, two, and three right there. Hey. And yet, at this intoxicating moment of what seemed like a brutish, violent slap in the, in the reddened face cheek of natural law, the magician would make peace with nature and her domain by showing that all in fact had been mere illusion and fantasy, for the cards had never been touched at all. In fact, they were each and all perfectly oh, placed yeah. Yeah. in order. Do you want a pizza, mate? Oh, so I placed an order? Oh. Oh dear. Sam, what are you doing here, mate? I thought you were working at the hotel. No, I quit. They had me so running around all over the place. Oh, did they really? Yeah. What are you doing, mate? This took ages. What's going oh, on? Oh, mate, tell me about it. I had to drop off four guys named Jack on 2nd e 2nd Street. Got stuck behind two queens on the way to the 669 Club. Yeah. Just walking down, met another guy called Dave. Sam, 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 I haven't got time, mate. Oh, I really okay. haven't got time. Thanks a lot, mate. Oh, I've only got a couple of minutes to do this. Right, three signed cards. Watch them closely. Keep your eye on them. Here we go. I'm going to make them appear in between my fingertips. Number one, number two, and there's number three just here. In between my fingertips. Are you ready for this, ladies and gentlemen? If I could do that, you have to admit it'd be pretty impressive. Here we go. Watch closely. Three signed cards in between my fingertips. Pepperoni? Oh, I guess this must have just been a dream. I'm sorry. I'm off to have some pizza. Yay! Yay!